Australia batter Glenn Maxwell will miss Saturday's World Cup match against England after falling off the back of a golf buggy and suffering a concussion. The incident happened on Monday as Australia's squad played a round of golf on a day off in a Medabad. Australia say there is no further injury and it is hoped he will be able to play later in the tournament. Max will hit a 40-ball century, the fastest ton in World Cup history, last week against the Netherlands. He has scored 196 runs at an average of 39.20 at the World Cup and has also taken four wickets with his off-spin. Last year the 35-year-old broke his leg in a freak accident at a birthday party. England are effectively out of contention for the semi-finals but a resurgent Australia are fourth in the table after four straight wins. A win in Ahmedabad would move them closer to securing a place in the semi-finals. Maxwell's absence could lead to a recall for Cameron Green or fellow all-rounder Marcus Stoinis, although the latter has been struggling with a calf issue. Beating Australia would be small positive, would England's exit is all but confirmed after five defeats in six matches in a dismal defence of the title won in 2019. On Wednesday, Mark Wood was the latest England player to be at a loss when asked why the holders had performed so badly. It is a kind of a strange one where I feel like we are putting in the hard work behind the scenes, everyone is trying hard, maybe it is a case of getting a couple of bad results and then confidence is low the 33-year-old fast bowler told BBC Sport. Wood also defended under pressure coach Matthew Mott, saying if the players are looking at other people then that is the player's fault. I am frustrated, I am gutted, I feel I have let some people down at home, added Wood, whose four wickets have come at an average of 69.75 and an economy of 6.34. That hurts me and the rest of the group is hurting as well. I don't think you can pin it on the captain or the coach. But would said beating rivals Australia would be a small positive in the latter stages of their campaign, before matches against the Netherlands and Pakistan. England must finish in the top seven places to qualify for the Champions Trophy, which is set to take place in Pakistan in 2025. This has been so far obviously a bit of a disaster from our point of view, said Wood. We don't want it to be like that come the end. There is everything to play for these next three games where it can be a disappointing tournament rather than a disaster.